Hello, this is Law Dog. Yes, it is, and welcome to Don't Starve. Uh, well, today this isn't, <coughs> excuse me, a normal episode. This isn't a um, Wolfgang episode. Today I'm going to take you. Th I've kind of been a bit lax on the updates that have been coming out recently, which I apologise for. But I've been busy with different things, so I'm kind of catching up a little bit. So some of this, if you're keeping up with the updates, some of you will know. <coughs> some of it you won't know. So, um, because it's on newest updates, well, if you haven't been keeping up with updates, you won't know any of it. So, let's let's start with uh, something straightforward. So, this is called the uh, Pseudo Science Station. It's a new science station that you can use and adds a new tab to the to the side here called the Age Ancients tab. Now, you find this in the ruins. Okay, <clears throat> to find a uh, second. Right, to find the ruins, I'm going to have to uh, just whip up a cave entrance. So you'll have to, excuse me a minute. Debug spawn, cave, entrance. No, entrance, Michael. There we go, let's put it there. Okay, let's leave it there for a second. So, you get to get one you get one of these by going into the ruins now the ruins are beneath the caves so let me just take that off so when you destroy one of these to go these plugged sinkholes and you go down into the cave when you're exploring the cave you'll find another plugged sinkhole like this or more plugged sinkholes and if you destroy them rocks and go down again so you've gone down underneath the caves you get to the ruins and eventually you'll find one of these it's usually broke to start with but uh, with some thulacite which is a new um item in the game a new um material you can fix one of these back up and then you get more ingredient more um, recipes you can make so first of all these are called this is called a thulacite fragment six of these make one of these which is a which is just thulacite okay now thulacite gives you a whole new group of uh, things you can make so let's start looking at some of those now the crafting of it you'll see as i as i'm doing it so let's start here this is where it says that th six thulacite fragments make one thulacite that's what uh, that's what we're seeing here now one of the newest things that's been brought been brought up brought in in the latest update is this a thulacite wall which takes just one normal thulacite to do so let's uh, put it put them down nice and of course you can increase the height by clicking on them again so yeah it's quite a nice high wall that and uh, you can get that by just one by just using one thula site up you get six uh, little walls which is actually really nice because uh, thula site is actually if you can get underneath in the ruins it's there's quite kind of quite a lot of it about if you if you look if you really explore everything and destroy everything you can destroy some things take a pickaxe some things take a hammer but you can usually get plenty so that's quite nice that so next we have this uh in fact i'm going to skip to this one because i want to show you this one this is the magi or magi luminescence it's a medallion that gives light and speed it's like a mixture of a walking cane and a um, Oh, that star maker's staff thing that gives a, a bright light off. So it's a mixture of that. And you can see it takes a yellow gem, it takes two thulacite, and three uh, soul, uh, nightmare fuel. So let's make one. And let's put it on. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to nip down into this cave. I've got it on permanent day, so, you haven't got, so I'm not going to get interrupted by... Uh, anything flying around that shouldn't be okay let's go down get rid of that yes and I'll quickly show you what the uh, Magi Luminescence does okay so here we are in the light so let's run uh, let's run into the dark there you go so it gives off light and speed so you actually run faster with it 
I'll try and show you as I enter light here. I'll take it off. You might not have noticed, but there is a, there was a speed difference. Just watch. So you actually do move faster, and you have a light source that'll carry with you. It takes about a day to uh, to degrade because it has a, does have a durability, and it does have a light I think equal to a miner's hat. It said so. There's your magi luminescence. Well, let's go back to the surface. Okay, let's go back up. I'll leave that here. Don't need it right now. Okay, so here we are, back outside. Now the next thing we're going to do is this. It's called the Thulocyte Medallion. And what this does is, is, as it says, it tracks the ebb and flow of ancient magic levels. Now, what that means is, let me, uh, let me wear it. There, there's no magic around here, so you can't, so it won't, it, it just sits in your inventory. And what happens is, when you're in the ruins, in the underneath, ruins have a state that they go through where um, they become very magical. Like all these lines up floor start glowing a bright colour. Well, when that's happening, the um, medallion will tell you when that state is arriving. And when that state arrives... Sometimes you get nightmares spawn. It's like, a, yeah, it's, it's like the ruins equivalent of, of, it, of just having a nightmare event. And uh, so you'll get nightmares spawn and things like that. So that'll warn you when the magic is going to be strong in the ruins, when it's when it's turning into, into a strong magic force. So you keep an eye on it with that. Next. See, I'm not going to do Lazy Forager, because you know what that does. I showed you that not long ago. Basically, you just run over anything laid on floor that can be picked up, like grass, rocks, saplings, loads of stuff like that, and the Lazy Forager will pick it up for you. You know that. Okay. So you've got the uh, got this one as well, Construction Amulet. This is what we're going to do now. So, the Construction Amulet. Let's craft one of those, and let's uh, put it on. Where is it? It's there. Now, what happens when you've got a construction amulet on is that the, that the amount of ingredients needed to craft something drops. So you don't need as many as much to craft some of the things uh, in the in you know that you can craft from naturally. You know anything when it comes. I mean, if you look at thulacite here, it took six thulacite fragments to make one thulacite. Now it takes three. If you say, look at this. Wait, there. Now I made. Uh, I made this. You see, instead of taking three nightmare fuel, it takes two. So instead of taking three thulacite, it took one. So it makes it so you don't have to. It don't cost as much. The crafting ingredients don't cost as much to craft something. So there you go. That is the construction amulet, which is there. So this is called a pick slash axe. There you go. And what that basically does is it lets it. It is a mixture. Have I got any rocks? I have got rocks. It's a mixture of a pick and an axe. So you could chop trees. There you go. And at the same time, it'll destroy rocks. So there you go. It does them about as quick as the uh, the, 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 pick, the, the axes and the pickaxes do. So there's no big difference to it. But it's just a dual layer thing. Instead of carrying around... Pick, you know, axes and pickaxes. You can just make one of these, and you've got the best of both worlds. So that is the pick slash axe. We'll put that down there. Okay. Next we have. Let me just have a look. Oh yes, thulacite crown, which is four thulacite, four nightmare fuel. So let's whip that up. Now thulacite crown is uh, ninety percent absorption of physical damage so it gives it gives good really good protection 90 percent it does and going with that you can make oh wait that i should be able to spawn it oh man i shouldn't need to spawn it get down go away you too you should be able to make thulacite suit which is six thulacite and four nightmare fuel Let's put that on. And they go together. And uh, Thulacite armor is really protective as well. So it's one of the best armors that there is. So in game. And besides having the best durability of any other armor in game, which Thulacite armor does, it also increases your sanity. 
by 3.3 per minute. So it's a really good deal to have. So you've got these on, but what about a weapon? Well, of course, we need a good weapon. So we can now go to the Thulacite Club. And you can uh, buy one of those, get craft one of those. And there you go. You are now kitted out in your Thulacite gear. Now, the Thulacite Club is actually the second best uh, weapon in game. Just behind the Dark Sword. And uh, the Thulacite Club does uh, 150 uses. And does, one, and does 59 damage per hit. So it is actually a really, really good um, weapon to have. Let me, uh, let me see if I can find a few things to club. Well, yes, I know. Let me whip up a, a tree guard. That's always a good barometer for how tough something is. Okay, there we go. Let's see how tough he really is. I'm not going to dodge. I'm just going to stand here and hit him. Let's see what damage I take. Let's see how long it takes to die. Oh, I must admit, I'm not actually losing that much on health. Look at that. Tentacles. Uh, I lost hardly anything. It hardly did anything to me. That is just insane. Let's let's take on another one of those. So we on. Let me take that away. Health is on. Well, let me just eat a honey ham. Right, health's on 150. So we're gonna go for it again. It's only on 147 now. 146 is basically taking one off me. There you go. It's done. 143. So there you go. That gives you an idea how tough Thulacite armor is and how good the Thulacite club is. So there you go. It's worth getting. So don't worry, don't worry about venturing into the ruins. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to show you is called... <laughs> it's quite funny... The Houndius Shootius. <laughs> it takes one Deerclops eye. It takes one Guardian Horn, which are them like uh, rhinos, stone rhinos. It takes five Thulacite. So let's make one of these. And uh, let's put it down here. Maybe I didn't put it down right. Oh, there we go. I just saw it move its eye. So let's put another hound down and get rid of that again. See if it attacks me. There you go, it's attacking the hound. So the hound's now it's now the hound's now attacking that. And there you go, it's killed it. Three hits. And if you look, if I get close enough into its range, it will start to take my sanity down at two per minute. Okay? So just so you know. Okay, so there you go. Now you know uh, everything. So that's a nice. You get a few of these up. I mean, if you craft a few of these, you should be. Uh, you should have some good protection as long as you don't get too close against uh, most things. All right. So let's do. Uh, get the hound back. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to do that again. But let me take that off. Okay. Now we haven't touched it yet, so there she's just shooting at it. There you go. So it's good because you could actually build a perimeter, like a perimeter defense against them. Can you imagine deer clops stomping towards your base with about seven or eight of them all shooting at him at the same time? You know, it's a, it's going to do a lot of damage, especially if you part them away enough so his AOE doesn't hit them all. Then they all hitting him, and they should be able to drop him. Should be able to keep your base nice and safe. Now, what I will do in the next episode, because I'm going to bring this one to an end now, show you just about everything. So, what I'm going to, what I'm going to do in the next one is I'll show you how to get to the ruins, and we'll have a little run round, and I'll show you what basically the ruins look like, and you know, I'll show you that uh, amulet in. Where is it? I'll show you this in action as well, the Thulacite amulet, to show you what it looks like when it's affected by the ruins themselves. So, uh, I'm going to go. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. You take care, and bye for now.